Hey guys, thanks for joining us for episode 2 of Life's a Glitch. Uh, in this episode I'll be showing you guys a pretty big glitch in the game Super Metroid for the SNES. Uh, this glitch has a pretty wide range of different effects that it can actually be used for, but uh, the use I'm going to perform and show you how to do is a uh, really easy way to defeat the final boss of this game. And, uh, there is pretty much, a, there's only a few things that you're going to have to do that you probably never guessed before, and, uh, I'll show you that here in a bit as to how to equip the, what you'll need. But, uh, basically you just make your way to Torn, uh, where the, uh, and make your way to the room where you fight Mother Brain, just, uh, kind of fight your way off past these little ring guys and blow down these doors. And uh, right here, the uh, fight's going to be just like you normally would. Just break down the glass and shoot a few missiles in there. But uh, this part really shouldn't be very hard at all. But uh, the uh, real fun begins after you actually defeat her in this first form. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to charge up my charge beam. And uh, you go to the pause menu, and if you hit the R button, You'll go to the inventory screen, and you see you can't have the spacer and plasma equipped at the same time, because the spacer fires three shots while the plasma fires two. But if you equip the spacer, highlight space jump, and press left and B at the same time, you can actually, actually it's left and A, sorry. Uh, you can actually equip them both at once, and uh, you can see I have it charged up now. It's uh, green, it's a bit odd looking, but... Uh, the reason I charged up beforehand is because if you try and fire this beam without charging it up, you'll uh, freeze your game, and uh, just to warn you, if you are one of those out there playing on the original SNES cart, you uh, can erase your save game files if you freeze your game by firing it without a charge shot, so uh, make sure you do it right. But uh, at any rate, you can see the game starts having a lot of graphical issues. <laughs> And, uh, there's really, uh, as you can see, she's taking damage from what seems to be nothing. But, uh, what I did was I unleashed, I pretty much let go of my charge beam right under her. And you can't see it right now, but there's actually a little spot. See that little uh, part right there that looks like an explosion? That's, uh, where the, I actually placed the shot. It actually, uh, as long as that's there, which it'll stay there until this boss battle ends, uh, she, for some reason, can't be hit by m missiles. I, I'm not really sure why that is, but, uh, oh, I okay, no, maybe not. But, uh, at any rate, she'll just keep taking damage, so you really don't have to worry about even fighting her. You just kind of let the, the uh, battle progress through itself. But, uh, there are quite a few uses for this glitch. There, uh, there's actually a method using the VAR weapon to, uh, restart the game with all of your equipment, which is kind of cool in its own, but uh, you also get to come back to Zeeves, which is the planet this game takes place on, and uh, recollect all the items you already got, and you may be thinking, why would I want to recollect what I already have, but uh, it's, a, it's a neat trick to get well over 100% completion in this game. Uh, the highest possible percentage, is, I guess, uh, theoretically is as much as you want to make it, because I guess you could actually come back and do the same trick later on again, so you could just keep cycling through. But, uh, my theory on the VAR beam is that, uh, the VAR is actually trying to pull data from the next entry on the inventory screen, which in this game's case is the various suit. So, uh, that's my thought on it, but really it could be anything. I mean, it's pretty messed up as you've seen. It's, uh, it has a lot of uh, side effects. It seems like uh, if you use this weapon in a room that scrolls horizontally, that it will freeze your game. But it seems that rooms that uh, progress vertically don't seem to have such a high uh, frequency of uh, your game freezing. So I don't know if that's actually the way it works or if that's just my personal luck with it, but uh, I know that's definitely how it seems to be whenever I try and mess around with it. But uh, there's also another glitch using the VAR beam actually that uh, you can actually escape this fight while you're in the middle of it, and uh, you'll end up in that room out just outside of uh, here where I entered in to begin with, and it, you 
do it by phasing through the wall by bombing specific spot while you charge the bar beam. But, uh, I'm not going to show that one during this video. But, uh, yeah, a lot of sprite animations seem to be having issues. Uh, you probably noticed, uh, the leg of Mother Brain seems to be, like, disappearing a lot. And right underneath there, you can see there's actually sprites underneath that leg, which is kind of odd that they would, you know, create, uh, a, a sprite that you actually would never see part of. But, uh, it's, it's definitely there. It looks kind of odd without the leg. Looks like she's got a, a bolt missing or something. <laughs> But, uh, as you can see, it makes this boss battle really easy. You really don't have to do anything at all. But, thanks for watching, and, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. There will be, uh, much more to come. So, uh, thanks for viewing, and I'll see you guys next time.